Hi, it's Lucy from budgetingandplanning.co.uk and Donna from elevatefs.org and we are doing a 10 part mini series with everything to do with mortgages. This happens to be episode number five and we're gonna go through five frequently asked questions that Donna often gets um, over the course of the last 18 months or whatever. So let's have a look at the first one. So we've got um, somebody who wants to perhaps sell uh, their home and move um, part way through a fixed rate. So what's that all about? Um, okay, so two things we can do. So if you want to sell, uh, let's say you're part way through a fixed rate period, um, you want to move two options you either take the mortgage with you that's called porting uh, typically 99% of residential mortgages are portable yeah. so you can take that mortgage with you without any penalty um, if you needed to borrow more than what your current mortgage balance is then that's an opportunity to do mm -hmm. so um, obviously depending on affordability um, or if you wanted to completely exit that mortgage if you don't plan to to, to rebuy there would be an early repayment charge right and they can vary quite a lot, can't they? Yeah, so depending on where you are within that fixed rate, um, that it is a percentage of the outstanding balance of the mortgage oh, okay. that is payable. Uh, but best thing, check with your lender, latest mortgage statement, that'll give you that information. Perfect, thank you. So the second one, um, we have addressed this in slightly more detail in, in a previous episode, but credit blips, let's talk about that briefly. Yeah, credit blips, they happen, it's real life. Uh, we do have lenders that are sympathetic to credit blips. Um, most important thing is keep up with your mortgage payments. Um, secured credit is frowned upon. Uh, missed secured credit that is mm. um, so providing you've kept up with your mortgage payments certainly for the last six months um, there's a solution for any other scenario um, CCJs defaults missed payments revolving credit um, credit card and missed payments we do have lender options you might pay a little bit more over the odds yeah um, but there are certainly options out there brilliant so the third frequently asked question is um, around having a pay rise you know with, with regards to having a change in income um, yep, yeah, again, so future pay rises, future income typically can be used between three and six months before you actually receive it. That's amazing. Yeah, so we get this, I get this quite a lot with teachers, nurses, um, they've been awarded a pay rise or a teacher starts a new new position uh, in September. Um, so typically teachers like to move within the um, six Sweet. week holidays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's like, right, well, can I use this income now? Ultimately, yes. Providing we've got a letter from the employer confirming the start of the new pay um, and, uh, and obviously the, the quantity, how much is going to be paid, we yeah. can use that. That typically will satisfy a lender um, to be able to use that income today. Brilliant. So same sort of scenario. So if somebody, for example, has been working historically part time, yeah. has now gone full time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Brilliant. Yeah. So fourth one is all around self-employment. So this is a really big one, isn't it? So particularly yeah. if you are either on your own self-employed or maybe, you know, your partner self-employed and you're, you're, you're employed. And so it sort of feels confusing. What's the deal there? Self-employment, there's a bit of a stigma around self-employment and mortgages. Um, it's not so scary. We can typically get a mortgage uh, with one year self-employed trading. Um, ideally, two years minimum would be the best option because you can average that out, the income out, and potentially you might be able to borrow more, get you closer to where you want to be. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, one year's trading, um, if you've got an accountant, we can look at some projections. Um, and particularly if you've been in that sale, same um, trade or line of work for a number of years, yeah. uh, there's a track record. We know that you, you know, you're able to do the job and, and, and providing that income sustainable um, moving forward, um, then it can be used. Amazing. And then the last one, number five, is uh, my fixed rate is ending. Help. Okay. <laughs> Uh, right, so fixed rates or mortgage terms coming to an end. Um, yes, we can take action um, up to six months before the actual switch date. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Lots of things we can do. Um, the worst thing, again, is not to take an action. Uh, right. That's the last thing we can do. Um, but yeah, up to six months, if your fixed rate's coming to an end, let's have a conversation. We'll explore your budget, your circumstances, what your future wants and needs are, and we can sort of take action and give you some options um, from there. Amazing, thank you so much. We're gonna cover that one in a, in a later episode, so do stay tuned and catch that one. So it's Lucy from budgetingandplanning.co.uk and Donna from elevatefs.org.